Well, people of the world, welcome back. Episode 13 of the Whiskey and Wade Show. And today, we are joined by Belfast Boxing Royalty. The number one Conlon in his family. <laughs> you know, give us many, many a great knit in the King's Hall, Ulster Hall, Waterfront, oh, Odyssey see. Arena. Folks, you know who it is, Mr. Jimmy Conlon. <laughs> the Mexican. The and Mexican. That's, let's bring up the point that his name's not actually Jimmy Conlon. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> how did you go from Rick James? And that's a great name, by the way. It's a Jimmy fucking Conlon. <laughs> we all know your dad stuck that name for one reason. It's Rick James, bitch. <laughs> and for those who don't know, Jamie's real name is Richard. Yeah. His middle name is James. So we were sitting here with Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the firstborn of my mother's side was always called Richard James. Really? Always called Richard That's James. random. But, but my, my dad had a cousin called Richard Kong. Right. And he hated him. <laughs> <laughs> so randomly when, when I was born, I obviously my and I didn't speak to each other. And they, they raised me the house. When you came home <laughs> last <laughs> night, <laughs> you wouldn't yeah. even talk to me. <laughs> I just walked in with my sitting in a big super freak thing. <laughs> super freak. Over the bed. What the He's not called Richard. He's not called Richard. No. They randomly picked Jamie. Jamie at that time was a girl's name. So I was. So straight away you were called Jamie? I think so. Or. Okay. I, I have no clue. I, I asked them how they came about that name. And none you... of them gave me a full on straight answer. Has no one ever called you Richard ever? P1, I think. P1. I think you're the only guy who calls him. I, I didn't know why. Frampton calls me as well. He always Rick called, he always put up with, like, say it was your birthday, he put up with Rick James thing. <laughs> and I was like, why is he doing this? And then later years, I found out why. Because you're, you're Rick James, bitch. Rick James, bitch. <laughs> and then, and then, um, but it was Dick back this, in the day. No one really called uh, yeah. it. It would have uh, been uh, your it, dick. It's, 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 it's so <laughs> Dick. <laughs> which also has a good wee ring to it. Like, I like wee dick. <laughs> but it's because like, I'm small, it wouldn't have went with it. Well, little dick. Well, you're, 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 dick. you're, you're, you're oh, I've, I've seen you, I've we're seen you in the showers, <laughs> and you are little dick. I'll throw it out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make that. That's the clip. That's the clip. That's <laughs> but uh, what's it like going from the boxing career and the uh, promoter? Because you're a promoter now. You're a manager and promoter. You're my manager and promoter. So what's it like, the transformation from boxing to, to going into that? I conflict on a lot of things. Mm. You get to see things differently. Um, looking at things as a fighter separate to like a manager or promoter you have to kind of take different hats off but also you can you can relate to the position of the fighter you can mm. relate to what actually is going through and and how, how uh, a decision is made but um you find yourself a constant struggle of what you want to do and what you should do kind of thing and that's that's one thing i've because I uh, haven't used my manager i'm always like do you know what jimmy's being for us jimmy knows the crack a lot of managers are are promoters I haven't been boxers like the level you've been at so you know what what boxers are going for you know mm. what what their mainframe is when you're saying ah you might have a, a fight here or you might have something here you're like mm. you know how frustrating that can be as a boxer so it's always how uh, good having you as a manager because you've been there and it's done uh, the information thing when yeah. we're fighters like if someone tells you something you kind of you, you take it as gospel yeah so you train it you <laughs> might have something that's not so that's why I don't really say anything till it's like crystal clear or concrete but um, it's hard with this with yourself, party, mm. because we all train together. We, so you're like, you feel a lot more responsibility. Well. Mick being my brother, but now the, the new kids, Kurt and Karen coming through, it's a bit different. You're, you're, you didn't, oh, you train <laughs> 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 didn't train with them. Fuck them. You didn't train with them. Cold shoulder. <laughs> A Tom McCarthy coach <laughs> is not a coach either. <laughs> uh, do you miss boxing? No. No. Because I remember the first, I think it was the first fight I had with you was in the Titanic quarter. And uh, before the fight, I'd never been in the change room with you. And uh, before the fight, you actually were sick. That's right. Around the corner. And I went, what the fuck? He's going out to, out to fight him. He's, he's around the corner. Yeah, I, was, I was sick as a dog all week. Oh, was it? Oh, was uh, it what no, 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 oh, no, 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 right. fighting. I was just, you couldn't say anything. I thought, fuck, like. this guy gets nervous, proper nervous before a fight. <laughs> no, zero, no, zero, no. Actually, the opposite. Uh, I like, I don't know, you're, the, you're a bit the same, where I like people in the change room. Mm. Don't talk to me about boxing. 
Yeah. Like Peter McDonough used to be brilliant. You were yeah. with Peter. Because he used to Peter come phones up. me every week. <laughs> <laughs> he used to come up and just take take the centre of the stage and the, the change room. And yeah, everyone used to forget the unboxing in the corner. Mm. But that time the Titanic, I was fucking sick Good as a dog. Walking to the ring, just starting a boat. Yeah. <laughs> Tom <laughs> spread rumours. Oh, Tim is believing. Hey, made it be believing because I had done training comes from. And I swear to God, I've never met a man that eats as little as my life when he's making weight. And I, cause, cause I had just joined the team, I was like, right, I'm gonna have to, you know, like fit him with a gang and and do what do what Jimmy does. And I, <laughs> I, I, so I was gangs. getting, I, I, I was getting the same food as him. And I was like, I'm not joking. It was like a bread of chicken and a wee tiny bit of vegetables and and I don't know, about ten ten portions, ten wee bits of fucking pass or something. And you had that daily, twice a day, and. He wouldn't even finish his, no. first of all, ever, no, ever yeah, finish his. I finish mine in a second. And then I was looking at Jamie, Jamie was like, oh, that's me. And I just can't. What, what was your weight, your actual weight, like in stones for the people who don't know? When I boxed, mm. eight stone three. Eight what stone did you go up three. to? What I am now, about ten, ten and a half, ten. The normal, like, depressing. Ten and a half, ten and a half stone I used to lose every yeah, eight weeks. Tell you what, you you got this. You came to camp and you're really mess. And see see this shape he used Thanks to get in. You did. You're really <laughs> fat cunt. <laughs> but he used to get it ripped within about three weeks. Ripped the fucking shreds. I was like, fuck me. He can fairly do these cannons. Mm. Have some and genetics. Dead. And see, like dead. speaking of the the, the cannons. So as I said, you're the, you're the number one. You're the firstborn son. And um no but a man like <laughs> Johnny, what are you at? <laughs> <laughs> but um you know the age old story for faders is I followed my big brother here to him, yeah. but you don't have any big brothers to follow to him. So what brought you to a boxing club? Um two things actually. Brendan was the main one, he wanted the box, I didn't. And I had to go and kind of hold his hand. Mm. He was he's below me. So it was one of them. You can't yeah. go unless Jamie, unless goes. Jamie brings yeah. you. And Were you they, to, to trick me into it though, because I was playing for Celtic Boys at the time. Mm. And I thought I was brilliant, but yeah. I fucking wasn't. <laughs> I, wasn't. I thought I was going to be a. That's Tommy McCarthy. Yeah. <laughs> my, dad, my dad said to me, yeah, make a loan. It's small like you. He boxed. That's how he got strong by boxing. I'm fucking yeah, I'm gonna be mega yeah. one. <laughs> boxing, boxing, we are brand. And that was it, stuck with it. You just kind of had the choice. And then it just kind of followed in behind you. Yeah. So, did you go to the boxing club before your daddy was a coach? He came with us, right? He came with us. So, you, you were the, the paid paper or the yeah, comments? They all paper. followed you? Well, Brandon was technically, because well, he was yeah, the one who wanted yeah. to do it. I was just, just following just up. Room. I remember the first day I, got, I went, I was playing wrestling. Wrestling, that's ring, how I yeah. No, we made a makeshift ring in an alleyway. Right. And mum and my dad come round, I'm jumping off a black bin. <laughs> it's some of an elbow back in the day. <laughs> Can I hold it up on Get down, you have to go training. Don't hurt yourself. And I said, oh, okay. What, right. what was your first club you were in? St. John Boys. Oh, it was always? Yeah, yeah. Did you always have uh, the Mexican style? If you don't know this, man has an out and out Mexican style. He was called the Mexican. And uh, he's professionally... You just stand toe to toe with people and just have wars. So did you have an amateur? I had zero defense. So it wasn't great. I what? remember, I remember sharing a car. I think with Tommy and maybe Tyrone. Kikachi was in the car going down the dog, and Patsy was bringing me down. Used to be training with the juniors, and I was with the seniors. And I could hear like, oh, why, "Why do you not work on defense? Like, 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 you're, like you're all you're, you're, your defense is in good." Like, this wee bird, this wee because he was Patsy's lead. Uh, he was always in the front uh, seat, yeah. always. Always in the front uh, seat. Do you know what? I, I, would, I um, always remembered Jamie coming down the. Before I know, before I knew you, I knew who you were, but went to Brings to get tickets, uh, and you were in our train. You were hitting the pods and you had an iron vest and all, and I think I was with Gin. I mean, we just sat and watched you train, and you were. The, for people I, I don't think has ever seen this from me but you were a slickster in the gym yeah 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 and then on fight night you did need to work near the fence you, you were going fuck yeah. let's call I, you I, I blame him but in the gym you were fucking yeah. slick as fuck in sparring all I wouldn't have wouldn't yeah. been in yeah. much, uh, much trouble like, and you were always that's fast. probably why you haven't got much damage to yeah. your face now yeah. and like you're not like if you sparred the way you fought, you would yeah. probably be a bit that's punchy. Where, so where all the damage is done, like really. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was smart then. You, mm-hmm. you used your skills <laughs> where, where it was needed. <laughs> where, where it was needed. <laughs> but I, I think I'm, he's the blame for why I fight the way I fight. I went to the Danny Vaughan, our, our trainer, and um, 
I was actually hands down boxing and moving. And within about two feet of watching him, I was ended up in the pocket just standing there. Ah, fuck it. I want to be the Mexican too. And, I, and I, I've actually turned into that. And the difference is, Horn, you're six fucking yeah. one. Yeah. Ricky Collins yeah. fucking... Five, five foot seven. Don't want to blame me here. I'm five foot seven. <laughs> five seven. And a half. Five foot um, seven and a half. It's just but it's actually big for if you were with. I was big. It was. It killed me. But, it killed me. All right. So you are to blame, man. Yeah. He is no, to blame. but no. Tyrone Philadelphia was to blame, I believe. Uh Because I think it changed what you you want yeah, to be. Yeah. They love. Yeah, Philly faders. They love Philly yeah. faders and people like their gym wars was just people crowded around the ring and watching you have a fucking war for. It used to do four minute rounds for thirty second breaks. And you should just kill each other in it, but but yeah, maybe it is. But I blame you always. I remember when we went to the LA, and I didn't realize this is the time. Like Tyrone is like a black, a man. black name. Yeah, had no fucking clue. <laughs> so my dad shouldn't me. Like Danny Holmes was told me didn't interrupt my dad. End up coaching us for the two weeks, and um, he shouldn't right Tyrone do this Tyrone. And all, all the black lads going, like, yeah. who the fuck's he talking to? <laughs> Who's Tyrone? The reason. Who's Tyrone? Heard and Tim. then like, when they heard Tyrone's name, <laughs> white boy, well, Tyrone. You they started getting pictures of him. Oh, look at this white boy <laughs> called Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> but they were sparring me sort of work, and his dad was going, I slip a jab and come back with stuff, Tyrone. They were going, this, the guy oh. looked at it. Right, right. He, was, he started I'm doing not it. I'm Tyrone. He started doing it. Has been right. <laughs> we all ain't called Tyrone, sir. <laughs> <laughs> But, My uh, name is actually Michael. <laughs> <laughs> but you had fatal year as well because you're Mexican state. You had a, fa- a big, big fan base because of your staying. And you, you were probably my favorite boxer at, at, when I was watching you. Every single fight was entertaining. You guaranteed entertainment. Um, you had fatal year with Nelson. Yeah. Uh, that was an unbelievable fight. You I think you're put down. Twice. Twice. Nearly got me a third time. And I was like, fuck me, this is turning out <laughs> bad here. And just had a peach of a body shot and dropped him and ended it. Mm-hmm. Fed a year. I think most of your fights could have been fed a year. See, to be honest with you, David, I have, when you were fighting, I was going through the same thing what I go through when Tom's fighting. Because <laughs> I had seen what you, how slick you are and how yeah, good a box yeah. you are. Going like, why the fuck is he doing this? Like, he should be jabbing the head of me, Nelson, or mm. jabbing the head of everyone. Every fight was like, down goes Connor. <laughs> <laughs> He's up. <laughs> boy. I always thought it was, it was like always, it was a always... mental thing where he, he, he wanted to get dropped to make it exciting to get back up. They go, fuck it. It was the fucking... <laughs> He was doing it for giving a couple of or fucking money's worth for then get up and win. Uh, it was see, always dramatic. See, being in a, a, a household full of boxing, was there a lot of uh, fights in the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who was the, the victor? Well, I was the oldest, so you were obviously... Uh, you're uh, <laughs> natural natural uh, age comes in, a wee bit of strength comes in, but, like, like my dad used to go home work, and you would set up your own wee boxing... I don't know, you set up your own wee boxing ring in the house. Uh, like, I don't know if you an old boy done that. Like, Ah, uh, we did. Um, Me and old boy were <laughs> Set it up with all the pillows around. <laughs> and then sometimes you'd have just one glove each. So you'd uh, just them one glove each, but... I'd like, even, so- even my dad would come in and go, like, go. <laughs> survival of the fittest and the stick. And he's sitting eating his wiener bricks looking at us. That's how the Mexican was born. <laughs> John was sitting there. <laughs> Finished a hard day. Why he was a tailor back in the day like when he was younger? Yeah, a glazer and a tailor. Did he? Oh, I'm Patsy's so as well. He done Did he? Yeah, he done Patsy probably didn't pay him. Oh, no. Tommy probably I didn't pay him. I think ta- Patsy <laughs> tried to pay him in uh, trophies. I'll try to get the for the next 10 days. So, uh, now that you're a promoter, do you, do you ever think about dabbling in the YouTube boxing? Because YouTube boxing seems to be where the money is lying in these... Or do you hate it? Are you I against... don't hate it. No, I'm not against it, no. I'm not, I'm against, I separated from actual boxing. I think that's how you should, yeah. should look at it. I, it's a different genre. I different mean, complete. Yeah. I, I enjoy it and hmm. embrace it for what it is. I've never sat down and watched it as a, as a boxing contest or actually any of the fights. Just the clips I see on Twitter. But the people and the and the... Their, their personalities they're all fucking mental like, uh, like the, boxers should take a wee bit from what 100%. they do and how they promote because they promote obviously to the, and this new audience that comes through it's it's. would you ever look at YouTubers and go fuck here I might approach one of them and try and manage one of them or something or no mm, no no you're sticking with the traditional so I, I don't think I would have the know how or the context in that game the kind of 
to give them the like, rate. Seems like you don't need much. I think we'll <laughs> set, set them out. Too much from here, any influence? There is, there's so, co- there is a couple of, of big YouTubers. I forget their names, but one's from here, and he's he's in LA now, and he's supposed to be huge. I forget his name, but he's young. You would know from all the gaming stuff. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a heavy gamer. You're a gamer kind of market. Well, you see, well. I'm, I'm shit. I've, I've I've grew up now, Jamie. Lockdown's over. I've I've put the computer away. I've bought a house. <laughs> and I've bought a house, don't mean so uh, my kid has been a PC now. Oh, seriously? I don't play. Jesus. I don't know. How it's... times have changed. <laughs> I think actually Tommy. If I had said that the Shane Todd the other week, Tommy is the the Jake Paul of the com- comedy world. Yeah. I, yeah. I, you I come in, that you've well. infiltrated we, the we market. Say that. You've he, infiltrated he's jumped the market. queue. <laughs> There's a queue here. And he's jumped the, the queue. I'd say they're all like, oh, well done, Tommy. Uh, uh, I them. Uh, uh, 100% uh, that's what I'd say. Is, <laughs> no, no, that, that, that is what's happening. Because there's guys are, who have been fucking plugging away for a while. For all the um, But I've um, just come in and doing shows. Easy. And it's like, but the thing, it's not like I've just Skip the queue. I've been just in a different queue, mm. fucking for years, but that, twenty I, years boxing to build my profile. That's all, from what I can see in in the comedy world, people are trying to build their profile. Mm-hmm. But I have built mine in a different way, and it's different from I do claim to be the the Jake Paul of comedy, but sure. it's different from boxing because no, it's not like you're getting you're either funny or you're not. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? In you're boxing, not. you can fucking um. <laughs> Ah, you can make you, you have can to like, improve on your talent. Yeah, yeah. But I think in, in comedy you'll probably be able yeah, to improve on your payment and delivery. But and like a guy like fucking who's been winning the All Irelands and boxing under nice and all as a kid and dedicated their life to and made all the sacrifices to box and then all of a sudden someone who's just been on YouTube playing PlayStation nah. jumps in, it's a big slap in the face. Yeah. No, but I think that's the exact same because they built their fucking following. And then they went to YouTube. I've been telling jokes to him. I, I was voted the funniest man in Irish boxing three times. <laughs> yeah. So Who was giving this vote? Do you remember that we pulled? IrishBoxing.com. Yeah, and he put me down as the cheapest. Cheapest. Cheap cunt. Cheapest. as oh, cunt. Oh, You're oh, fucking geez. wearing that fucking Christmas. That was down in Christmas yet. Do you know Joe Rogan? You're... you're Joe Rogan was a fighter then comedian now he's was he? a podcast was he? he Tommy off. Rogan yeah. what, what was his uh, Jiu Jitsu Ju- Ju- Tai Taekwondo Taekwondo, Taekwondo. Did Taekwondo. Did I don't see a video of him Joe Rogan has the best sidekick I've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> he's just falling out in a bag <laughs> listen so I've be, be be imagined on Joe Rogan's too. podcast so <laughs> have you? yeah because because I'm being oh, knocked out by Pro Grey they put the me on the screen. Let's see this guy. Oh, fuck. This Irish guy got knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tyrone McKenna. I'm in the same boat. Every <laughs> Filipino stops me. Jeremy <laughs> 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 <Really? Jared> McCass. <laughs> <laughs> like, we were, we were in Australia and some wee Filipino get into the elevator and was like, ha <laughs> 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 like, uh, yes, yes, me. That's yes. me. Yes, that's me. And oh. then even I was in a hotel in, in uh, Dubai with, with Tracy and was hanging the wee guy put the hanging and he at the very end he went Mr. Conlon <laughs> <laughs> I said no no it's not me it's my brother Michael and she says no 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 <laughs> <laughs> no 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 <laughs> and I went yes that's me <laughs> yeah. can yeah. we get a picture you yeah. you, uh, okay. you get mistaken for uh, Mick a lot and Mick is actually I mistaken about you no 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 he gets mistaken about you but you a lot as well. Mick was on. I forget what podcast it was, and and um, oh, was your that? woman thought she was talking to you. They own it. <laughs> they own it. They own it. The clip is, uh, and yeah, and uh, your brother has a mural. Mick's like, no, it's me. He's like, oh my god, oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. Listen, we need a Mexican mural. Yeah. That's what we need in Cavendish that Street. Good enough to get a mural. Listen. No. And well, most entertaining man in Irish boxing. I'm, yeah. I'm chasing that title. Uh, as a, how many, I, how think, many, I think you said... How many um, Irish fighters has ever won fight of the year? I don't know. I, don't I, don't know. Know. I, say that I think Ring Magazine was number one, two as well. You were? Year, you were? Yeah. You were? Yeah. Really? So I, I was eight, such a fight uh, as well. Yeah. I actually think I was better than the... Why would not get that fight of the year? Because it wasn't on a British boxing uh, board control show. So that was a better fight than the last was Junior Ganados. Uh, I was in Dublin. Dublin, and he, and he got I, was, I was boxing very well for five rounds. <laughs> you boxed lethal the end as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's how you showed you showed yeah. your yeah. boxing. You went back to brain stem for the last <laughs> few rounds. <minutes. laughs> <laughs> it shows you like how easy you could have made that fight. I know. You had to use your boxing. It's different. 
I, I don't know about you. Just, I think there's a different... It's very hard to explain to a, a normal person. To explain another box is probably easy. There is different vari- variations of power. Mm. There's people who hit you and you aye, kick your butt and your gums yeah. so you're going, fuck There's me. stutters, there's the sharp ones. There's, yeah. there's yeah. ones who hit you, like Jerry and Kaz hit me. I was going, that doesn't hurt, but it's, it's, it's heavy. Right, it's right in, the, it's yeah. in that wee spot, oh. just hitting you right. And it stays with you for two rounds later. And then there's people like Junior Granados where he was hitting you and it's just like, fucking hell, stop it. Yeah. Because uh, like my moon. He's not known as a, a big Spoke puncher. The other day, actually. Did he? Yeah. He's not a big puncher. He says he's still stammering. <laughs> he probably. Yes, he was. Let it go, Let it go. Let it go, my man of his years ago. Very angry. <laughs> it's been. I see every time I go on his Instagram, there's a new post of me on it. Just me with that. Fuck me. Fuck this Irish bastard. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, my he's not known as a big puncher. He's three knockouts or something. See, every time he hit me, he hit me in the right spot, right in the back of the head where you'd be like off balance every time he got hit. It's like, fuck, blackout. Boom, blackout. It's like, this guy's not supposed to hit and he's fucking hurting every shot. Yeah. But, uh, but thank you. People don't it. realize that there is difference. Uh, yeah, 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 People, yeah. one punch concussive power, but yeah. they don't really punch yeah. up to that point and then, yeah, there's all different ones. Like. How come you're talking to him? Uh, I was <laughs> looking at trying to do a thing. <laughs> I was actually looking at doing Sean McCormick moon. Oh, I'd be some fate. Yeah, that's what we're exploring now. But um, that'd be a great for, fate. for this um, for, next show. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about your next show. Yeah. Big show coming. It's on the way, you know. It'll be it'll be ten it's days when this is out. Yeah. Ten days, yeah. So we're coming up the five week. Very close. Um, how how are you feeling about it? This is. Would you be nervous going into? Obviously, you'd be nervous as a fighter going into fight week. But you'd be nervous as a promoter going into fight week. In the fight week, no. In the fight week on fight night. Stressed is a wee bit kind of yeah, and you go through various different phases of it, and because I'm on my own, we're not, we're still growing. Mm. Um, still, still, ten, you have to take it all on yourself. I know it's me and Mick, but it's time. Ah, but it's right now. He's fighting. He's fighting. fighting. Uh, um, so it kind of we, we do it like that, and I separate him from any of the you have to the stresses because you, as a fairy, you don't yeah. need any stresses. And yeah, it's been good. It's um one. I think it's our fourth. No, I don't think is it? Yeah, but the yeah. And then it's going Did you do both two fours? And we, then for, no, we, I done done it, but yeah, then we done it on our own the yeah. second year, and then we done it that we the done Odyssey, the Odyssey there, and then, and then Odyssey, we done one yeah. in the we done one in the Ulster Hall with Lewis Crocker. Oh, oh I forgot about that. And this is yeah. our fourth, but it's a uh, it's us testing on your own, like, um, but I enjoy it. Like yeah. you enjoy it because, like when I'm speaking to obviously Liam Taylor. Mm. Uh, and we're talking about doing that fight uh, you start to kind of get a wee bit of a buzz about that and you feel good about it and there's small wins through where right through the weeks but there is some days where you, you you'd probably prefer to be punching people really? in the face yeah because yeah. a lot of the time I'm, I'm sure you're the same I've said this before in the podcast when you're in the changing room you're like why the fuck do I do this job you're like yeah. get me out of here I want to go home <laughs> you do it well, sometimes no. He just send fighters in general. Every, no, I, I, every, I, I, every, I every, do it. Liam McCourt says he does it. Everyone yeah, does it. Yeah. And, like, and you're thinking, does everyone think this? And you're like, I might be in a car league cunt, but know, everyone thinks but it. Just, yeah. but, no, and then you look at the other guy and he's going, mm, yeah. and you're going he doesn't yeah. think <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and I, I noticed that, that was why I fucking, I like, felt so comfortable doing comedy. My yeah. first gig, and they were in the change room and one of them actually turned around to why do we do it, lads? And he's like, see, this, this is familiar territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, Jamie, you're also almost like, well, not the Jake Paul, but you're on the fast track in the promoting scene yeah. as well because there are guys who struggle for years doing yeah. these small yeah, hall. Yeah. But you're straight in, Falls Park, Odyssey, Ulster Hall. We got lucky, came out the right time and uh, have the right fighters. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I think the biggest names in Belfast are, are, are with ourselves and and where we obviously the feel it was a big help we we touched lucky and we got mm. Mick with the feel a few years ago and we started to build out the um, relationship and try and build it bigger and bigger and um yeah it's got it's it's been good good connections mm. good good contacts around around the boxing industry and and we've developed over time but I think we can still go bigger it would take, trying to take it slowly but bigger is yeah. what's, what's the plan. are you going to be saying a lot more talent or are you just going to keep it small for now you've got, no, well, you got six we've got six yeah we've got six, six. Um, Crocker you Potty the two guys and, and Mick and um, 
Yeah, I think the two guys, the two lads from the Irish team, Kurt, Kurt Walker and Kieran Malloy. But I do believe. Listen, I believe. I believe uh, next year we're going to try and do more smaller ones with Kieran and Kurt giving yeah. ones a headline spot and uh, alongside Top Rank and ESPN. And again, it's lucky we got the ESPN yeah. behind yeah. as our as our main partners. It's not so much luck. The thing. The same He's worked hard saying, enough for yeah. it. Ah, just yeah, been, in a yeah. cre- been in a different queue and made the. Well, that was that was kind of working with Mick and, and Top Rank. We yeah. built up that and built up that trust about doing things mm. there. And, and that's so is Mick um, completely away from Top Rank now? Or no, no, he's promoted, answer, promoted by Top Rank, right, right, but we kind of manage him, manage yeah. him, and then we'll help out here as like the promoter on the ground here right. locally. So <laughs> it gives us an opportunity to do yeah. bigger shows here. Yeah, but um, so ten days to the big fight. How's things going for it? How are things looking for it? It's going good. Uh, the SSC wanted us to do this, so they offered us an opportunity to do this Black Friday sale, which has mm. never been done really. It hasn't been done. I've never seen it. And it's, it, it, I didn't think it would go down well, but it went down a storm yesterday. Has it? And we're doing anything, it all weekend. Anything on sale is fucking bad. Yeah. Do you see the garage had a sale on, on the diesel? On diesel? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you see the key? I went and up the tank. <laughs> was it even a big... Uh, uh, I was... Um, 40p or something no. uh, what was it okay. 149 it's usually 180 yeah. okay fair enough then. So, but there was serious lanes for that fill me up baby do you want to I hate queues have you seen the queues for Primark still yeah. still and I don't know what Primark does so special it does fuck it it's cheap it's not, it's not cheap it's not even fuck Sora it? fucking the well, same prices is it alright you, but they trick you. They he's trick a promoter. He doesn't <laughs> shop in Primark. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I don't go in Primark myself. I hate the place. That's our home. It's all, <laughs> it's I don't go to Primark. He stumbled in. Like, it's like, a mess. Like, the shoes were in. Like, uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> the Primark plug and then walks away from the dark. <laughs> it's, just, it's just too messy for me. Like, and you uh, walk in there, they bring everywhere, and I just like, fuck that. There's How always you like, know if you don't go? Because when it did... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here, you see the match? <laughs> <laughs> That's the World Cup. Hey, look at this show here. Anyway, <laughs> right, anyway so, yes, Odyssey. <laughs> it's like our SSE, yeah. sorry. Yes, it's very, very good. Has a, I think it has a mixture of everything. Uh, yep. And one thing we always try and do is is get one or two fights that mean a lot and mm. you know, provide a, like, as much as as much as the, the dynamic of the fight is kind of a crossroads fight so you're yeah. you're having someone who's risking it all yeah. and, and whatever but I feel I'm Tyrone is on that I'm always on that yeah, is on that one. I ask for that <laughs> who do you want to fight well this is the I problem the with Tyrone like, like you're going okay Tyrone let's build uh, let's let's do this we can do this let's set things up for March fuck that <laughs> and you're thinking you're bringing them good news oh, but some fighters go like yeah 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 but no, it's it's a different. Listen, I like entertaining the public as much as Jamie liked it. I like yeah. it as well, and I, I always to feel your like own it. detriment though. I know. That's, that's it the is. Issue, like. So I think about it sometimes. I be like, why am I doing that? Why am I going to war? Why am I just? Because I, I am a good boxer myself. Like you're six foot. F- I know. Two, that's what I would say. The like, tone was a, a standard amateur, very very you know slick boxer. So Paul, he, he when Tyrone's at his best, he's like a. A uh, white Paul Williams. Paul Williams. <laughs> and the exact sure and the fucking burning style. And um he just I love it. says the Jimmy Cannon ruins it. Yeah. It's, it's no there the, the, he just he's took over the man I think he's like every fight. Even the small wee clip. I, I watched the clip of his last fight against Chris Jenkins in, in August. <laughs> and I end up sitting down and watching the whole thing. <laughs> but that's that's what draws you in. Yeah, and, yeah. and when I say like like Tyrone and Paulie McCroy both have have or had um, a cult following, mm. yeah. Like, like people who would just be dedicated yeah, to the, the to the yeah, war, like you know war. what I mean, to and the cause of people. The that's that's the thing. It fucking <laughs> yeah. annoys me. People just be on me going, can't wait for this war, can't wait for this war, and they build up. I'm thinking, you've I'm gonna box, like, you've I'm gonna box, up. and then yeah. I'm getting so much matching. Like, but you need the box. Like, I know. Yeah. At this stage of your you career, mix it up. You know, and what I always say is, fight when you need to. You don't need to make it a. A complete war from yeah. Bell one like box and then give him a Jamie, last Jamie's seconds. Jamie's going to get for for a round. I, you see him pop new face in the jab and then yeah. round two. Fuck it, that's happy. It was just came out. I think when we trained, it was like I I like to go the extra mile. Yeah, so you yeah, you're a hard trainer. Com- uh, comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah, that makes sense. You, you were hard, that, except for running. Yeah. The, yeah. These two men, I've, I've, actually, Tommy probably hates running more than Jamie, but Jamie hated. 
we used to do hard sprints, 800 meter sprints. I fucking hate them. 14 rounds. Yeah. Tommy, you wouldn't even have done it. You wouldn't have done it. Between. But uh, Jimmy yeah. hated that. Hated that with a passion. We always done it. Uh, I we can't did say always the same about Tommy. But <laughs> the same as, in, in fairness to me, I'm going to big myself up here. Okay. My running improved dramatically when my, well, Pete Taylor's running sessions were crazy. Yeah. And if, I remember the first day, he said, like, put it down. Put it down the, we were running on 16, put it down to 14, put it down to 12, he gets a bang on it. put it down to 10, I was on 10, <laughs> <laughs> and then after a couple of weeks then I was fucking with the lead, and then I had to start holding my own, but now I'd say I'm back to square one, I just, <laughs> <laughs> I've I actually can't. started grew to the test, run like hate it's running a melt. Well, you run like you're nah. pulling a train or something, nah. Angel. That's why I have a bad T-Rex back. arms, like oh, the T-Rex arms. Run. <laughs> 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 like you're doing the robot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my buddy called Peter Crouch. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. But, but uh, yeah, it's the same thing. We'd done the 800s. I was, like, the first week you would do four, 30 seconds. And I'd be laying on the ground, like nearly crying after it and going like, mm. I can't do this. But the next week you're doing six. Yeah. And the next week you're Grand doing eight. Right? Uh. Slowly, slowly, as I say. Um, tell me, is there any chance of the fail show coming back to the park yes very much we moved that, away this year because of uh inflation mm. on and shipping costs on on getting everything on the on the metals yeah. so the build the stadium is very 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 expensive um and we needed the, the stadium to be well we were hoping ourselves and and, and the fail and kevin gamble and harry we were hoping to do 14 to sixteen thousand last year we were trying to get it built what for was that it before 10 10 10 um for sorry for this year we were hoping for that and uh we were unable to secure enough kind of oh like the, like the funding, the funding and, all, yeah. and not even the funding but just the the people who was able to do it the resources that they had and the company to kind of f- fulfill our needs they just yeah. were unable to, to deliver and it just right. see to be honest with the odyssey was fucking odyssey was. Or the it's very good. Was... Like, there is it's a different atmosphere yeah. i think people who it's go great. to the park go bothly for for festival for things. a festival yeah. night out yeah. and it has that feeling and it has that appeal and that attraction of i'm going to watch someone yeah. fight in the park if, if cam mccarthy tells me right now he was the first one to do it God. i'm <laughs> leaving this podcast because he says it every time <laughs> I, <wasn't gonna> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I thought that's why he was getting <laughs> up right now uh, so i'm getting him before well, i'm kind of glad to do i'm glad to match that theory but uh yeah but Toro Lansing followed my undercard in the first yeah. round. Uh, but, but I was going to say, if you get a great day for the field, yeah. we it's a brilliant all, atmosphere. Yeah. But like the, the two years that we've done it, it's rained. Yeah. Slightly, but it was still but it still goes well. You get to be Ponchos, the real feel. And, and I think by that stage, people don't give a shit. Yeah. I think yeah. the first year, maybe the second year, there were threats of thunderstorms. And last well, year? Last year, the first so the yeah, la- last, the last, year, the last, last time we've done it out, outdoors. But then it ended up dry. It was a monsoon. We had to put a. A monsoon? We, we had to put <laughs> What is no, it? A monsoon. Monsoon. Yeah. What did you eat? What? Monsoon. A monsoon. A monsoon. <laughs> monsoon. monsoon. That's what I said. You didn't say I monsoon. said monsoon. <laughs> no, no, we had to, we, we had to put the uh, um, backups in place in case it did rain. Yeah. We were going to like cover the whole thing and just do Mick. Yeah. Like that's like because TV just wanted to make yeah. them, and then if we were going to do it, people. That's me. Sorry, that's me. Sorry, I'm just breaking wow. that news. Wow. A <laughs> year and a half after your time. <laughs> But I, there was there was like um, backups in place with the board and stuff like that. We had to go through all Crazy. this on the day. Um, Fuck. Cover the ring so the ring didn't get too wet. Then do Michael. Then do the, the event after. Was what we were going to do and just do a full DJ set with John Fuck. in the park. Thanks, was, fuck. That I didn't know. Real, we are very lucky. <laughs> but dead yeah. fucking Ali found out there. But <laughs> the Odyssey takes them stresses yeah. away. They, yeah. they, the park on your own. Is highly stressful. Yeah. See, see the, the atmosphere that the Odyssey brings is lethal as well. Like that last, there was 10,000 there the last uh, fight and the chants and stuff it during, great, the, though, during the show was just, it's, and the walkout and stuff is just fucking unbelievable. It feels good. It and, does. And, and we do, we do it a bit different the way we used to be done. So you ah. walk through this corner through um, uh, just where the change rooms is. But we moved it down to the back, put a put a stage, and let you come through the crowd a bit more. And I, I that's think it's so much more, better. Oh, See, I walk out; it was ten yeah. times better than it normally is. Yeah, uh, and I just, just I feel like we like I know it holds ten thousand, but I feel so much smaller, like compact. Yeah, just yeah. feels like it's everything's on top of good seats everywhere, and it just feels unbelievable when you're fighting. It's that. a great arena for boxing. It is, um, and it needs to be regular. Yeah, we need yeah. to have regular fights. I, I've 
because Jared, um, you got me to do the undercard, the yes. comedy. So I had the best scene. It was great that the Americans didn't come in, so I didn't have to move. So you said I was there, sir. like ring proper ring side and I was I was glad to be here to try and share the term yeah. all I heard is jab jab <laughs> use your jab <laughs> it's suicide all I heard <laughs> fuck sick to him jab fuck me my throat was killing me yeah. every time he's getting in the war he's like jab I can, I can hear him but I didn't do it but uh um, I think that's Tommy's wee thing to, to throw it. I done comedy well, last I think we made, I think, I, I, I think we made the comedy and uh, Andy Clark this time. Oh, Andy Clark? We made friends with Tommy okay. and Andy Clark. Andy Clark's For the main, main broadcast also, so uh, I'm not sure if he's available, oh. but, or yeah, whatever, but yeah, we're looking at. Okay. If Andy's available. I think Andy's coming across. Um, he's going to do, yeah, he's going to do him. brilliant commentator. But the card itself, I think, is, is very, very good. We're hopeful the securing is waiting on confirmation on, on Sean McCombs, WBO. European title okay against Mamoun uh, no oh, not Mamoun uh, Spanish kid um, Mamoun would have been a great Mamoun title Mamoun oh, and Sean would be very very that'd good that'd be a, I didn't even think about it before but that'd be great but we're looking to do Sean in an intercontinental debut intercontinental and then move him to fight like the IBO champion yeah. in March That's that was the plan Yeah. which it still could be a plan if he gets another title and moves up the rankings enough but um He's going WBO then, European WBO European is, is what we have I'm actually for. excited about the McCormick Fergus Quinn fit. That's going to be a lethal fit. See, it's an all Irish fit. I love all Irish. You fits. watched Fergus Bar the other day. Oh, I have. I've never seen Fergus in Malay. That's the first time I've seen him. I'm okay. not big into watching amateur boxing. So I, I've heard his name, but I've never watched him. And he came down the spar the other day, and he's just so exciting as a pro. Yeah. Like the style he has, he just come came forward. Paul Rand's lethal as well. So we just had a serious, serious spar. Well, Fergus Quinn was he a standard amateur? I don't know. Was he? I went to watch uh, Brett McGinty as an amateur. I was just working for BBC and I had noted, noted uh, Brett McGinty as someone who could be a good pro. Fergus beat him in the final of the Oscar and I thought Fergus is... Yeah, uh, very, see the way he just comes forward, yeah. slipping down, boom, boom, big. Very strong, yeah. solid, takes a good shot. I, I, I don't mind getting hit to, no. take, to give the land himself. He's very entertaining. So that'll be an inter- Your man McCormick, I've sparred McCormick as well. He just comes forward, so yeah. they're just going to come forward. It's going to be a good gel of styles. It was and unfortunate we lost the other two All Irish mm. fights. Um, Joe Fitzpatrick. Joe Fitzpatrick oh, yeah, against Tony, Tony. Tony McLean and Martin Quinn uh, against uh, Luke Caffrey. Yeah. And it, I, I think it's needed for the. It is. Yeah. Everyone, I, me and myself, I'm always most excited about the All Irish fights. Yeah. How just many fights are actually on? 12. We have 12, 12. on. Um, it's that card there's some serious talent on it it's a mix Cameron Loy is lethal I love watching Cameron Loy I think he could be a star yep. especially in Galway and if it's built right and we've done right we've got the kind of rivalry from the amateur scene of Paddy and Donovan, him Paddy him he's in a good weight in Ireland in terms of welder weight mm. he's moving down the welder weight um, he, he, he can mix it he's very very good I mean, yeah the first time I watched David, Ani- the, David the, Avenissi yeah, and all the that guys love um, mm. the Galway Irish because it's like real well, Irish it's yeah. It's really yeah. it's, it's, it's the, ones like that, the, the quiet man they think, yeah. when they think of Ireland Yanks they think always of the quiet say, man. Oh, my family's from Galway or yeah, Cork yeah. or Cork Galway because Galway. Galway is right on the coast I yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose yeah. Yeah, a lot of them probably are from Galway but I think they just make it up and just say yeah I'm from Galway but next year then her, him and Kieran the progression or him and Kurt the progression of the Emmons will do smaller shows maybe in the Ulster Hall and, yep. and Galway and, and build the Emmons but like I think Kurt Walker could be a good a, a star here in, in Belgium. Yeah, Kurt Walker's Burn level. Don't have. Pros. Never. I don't think I've ever had a a, a standout pro of it. I'm, I'm not sure. Brian McGee wasn't from Lisbon, was he? I know, but they tried to claim him. He's from Lagmore, Bogas or something. Uh, Lagmore is in Lisbon. Brian McGee's from. Uh, it's from Paul Glass, I think. Yeah. Uh, so. yeah, or Timberg, no, he's from Timberg. 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 Uh, so, uh, but <laughs> but yeah. if they get behind them, we do it right. Olympian, you know, yeah, you know game silver medalist, European champion, he, he can definitely do and he's got the right, and he's move got fast. The right coach, and, yeah, and he's got the right and, and manager, and, promotion. Yeah. So he's loving life. He's, he's set up for something. But there's, there's various different ones. I think Ferguson, Graham McCormick is... Yeah, it's, it's made nice all fight. action like and it is going to be a nice. Paddy fight. Donovan, yeah, we had a fantastic fight done there till this morning. Just uh, his opponent, um, Wilf Winston Campos, got injured in sparring last night, but 
He doesn't know it yet, so he'll know what I'm wearing. <laughs> he'll know it's by the time comes out, but he got, he got injured. What about um, Connor Quinn? Uh, Connor Quinn is, very, yeah. He's on the show. He's on the show, West Belfast, from two very, streets very around the corner from me and Mick. He was from Garscourt yeah. Street. Where from, was he? From Cadney Street. So, growing up in Clannard Boston Club as well, you know, Mick used to spar him as a kid and bring him around, and it's great to see him on the yep. car, I think. Very, very talented. Yeah, I was at his first fight. I watched the second fight there, and... And I'm sorry, first fight in Ireland. In Ireland from, yeah, because um, he's out in Australia. He There's a lot of hype about Conor Quinn. For, a lot of, um, everyone. Potty, yeah, Potty, good, Potty like, speaks, speaks very, like, waxes lyrical about him. Yeah. And just thinks he's he's very good. And um, that they can move him very fast at that super flyweight. Yeah. Yeah. Flyweight. Well, where, where you uh, always want to move fast. And there's tickets still available? Tickets still available. Where um, are they available from? They're from Ticketmaster or the SSE. Or some from the boxers. the boxers. Yep. I think most of these are all done. Yep, basically. Um, but yeah, they're flying out. The the Black Friday seals were a big hit. Yeah, it's the first time, as we said, first time I've seen it. Um, and everyone loves a good wee seal. Yeah. When you're getting the fifty percent, when, yeah. when they say to me fifty percent yeah, off, shit. on two two tickets. Oh fuck my tickets to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't plug this fifty percent off. It's be gone by the time this comes out. So yeah, it's 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 yeah. good. It should be a, a fantastic night. Yeah. So if you haven't got tickets yet. Get online and get them because I'm bringing a war, bringing the heat. Yeah, uh, but the here, talking enough shit, so uh, we're gonna wrap it up. And at the end of every uh, episode, we do a, a game. It's called Smack One, Blank One, Buy One a Paint. Okay. We've got three names for you, right? Right. The three names are Eddie Hearn, Barry McGuigan, oh, fuck. and Frank Warren. And these are three oh, goals. You are, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Controversy. <here. laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth here in this one. <laughs> right, so smack one. Blank, Blank one, one. And buy one. Buy one drink. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think I was smacked by McGuigan because he knocked my cunt in. <laughs> <laughs> so I've made a Blank Barry. <laughs> despite my yeah. inner feelings. But uh, yeah, Blank Barry. Smack Frank because he's about 80. <laughs> <laughs> buy her and a drink, right? Yeah, that's a, that's yeah. a good one. I like, it. I like the reason yeah. you've done there. Yeah. There's no, no controversy involved. Uh, no I one's like going to bother me. Uh. <laughs> well, that's it. For the week, episode 13 done. Make sure to sh- subscribe. Make sure to buy tickets to the fight. It's coming out in 10 days. Is fight night. Um, be ready for a big war. And tune in next week where we'll have another guest hopefully yeah. on. Uh, thanks, thanks to Jamie for coming on yep. too. And can I just Imagine. leave one important message? As it is going to be fight week, stop cheering when Tom gets in the wars. <laughs> Everyone just shout jab, jab, jab. <laughs> That's all my name. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you. And-